Hello, my name is Dr. Jeffrey Hedrick. I'm from Jacksonville State University and uh, I'm here to do this video for a demonstration at University of Nebraska Kearney and I'm going to be presenting this in a global media literacy class for them. This will be the first time that I'm uh, doing any type of video or any teaching any kind of class on global media literacy although I've done media literacy before several times. I'm going to go ahead and address this issue from a unique perspective and also give the students and the faculty an opportunity to see what they're going to be getting if indeed I do end up coming to the University of Nebraska Kearney excuse me I remember that. Uh, the, spell, the pronunciation is different in Nebraska than it is in uh, California where I'm from, which is just another example of media literacy at play actually in the cultural perspectives. One of the things that's gonna, I'm going to go over in this video with all of you. Today's lesson is going to introduce you to the Salzburg Academy's Global Media Literacy Action Plan that prepares students for active and inclusive roles in the world by teaching them critical thinking and analysis skills along with how the media upholds citizens freedom of expression. Now they do this by teaching basic media literacy skills comprehension analysis and evaluation and students are taught what to identify as really news and what is not news and how the media work and uh, the people involved and understanding what the media perspective is and when you're dealing with professionals and when you're not and uh, you learn this through monitoring the, na the analysis and the comparing of media coverage of people and events. After this you should be able to understand the media's role in shaping global issues. The Salzburg Academy advocates uh, what they call the five A's of media literacy five A's being access, that whether it be digital ownership, participation, and barriers involved with access. The second A is awareness, values, ideologies, representations, context. The third is appreciation, expression, culture, perspective, diversity. The fourth is action, agency, engagement, community, and the voice. And the fifth is assessment, the purpose, the accuracy, the sources, and the audience.